So today I thought we'd make some bookmarks. Because I always find I tend to be using really weird things as bookmarks. Just because I never seem to have them around. So I have like lots of things like train tickets and receipts. And I did see a book tag once where they did, um, one of the questions was, what's the weirdest thing you've ever used as a bookmark? And this girl said, well, there's nothing really that odd, but she knows a librarian. And she said that books would come in with all kinds of things pressed between their pages. She said the weirdest thing that she ever saw in there that somebody had used was bacon, like a rasher of bacon as a bookmark. I thought was quite a good bookmark. I mean, I don't know if it was raw bacon or cooked bacon, but that is ingenious. I think whoever decided to use bacon as a bookmark was inspired, to say the least. But anyway, I decided to make my own bookmarks today. So I've got my like watercolour pad, which is just a cheap one from... Um, hobby craft and then I have my scissors and my pencil and I'm gonna do it like a watercolor thing but I want to try and do it with a wax lettering and I don't have a wax crayon so I've, I've cut out a tea light out of its little packaging and then I've also got a kind of white birthday candle so I don't know which is going to work best if either of them are going to work at all so what I'm going to do is a couple of wax ones and then a couple I'm just going to let dry I use a black calligraphy pen see if I can do that I, I'm not banking on this being any good but we'll give it a go so the first thing I need to do is I need to cut it into strips I'll probably get about five bookmarks out of this one sheet I'm not very good at cutting because I'm left-handed. Um, I don't know whether other left-handers have the same problems. I'm sure they do because the problem is with scissors is that, I guess it works that way, but then the scissors are turned up. So I have to put my thumb in the big hole and then jam all my fingers into the little hole and it just doesn't work. So. You can buy left-handed scissors, but I just, I've never really got on with cutting. I've always had trouble with cutting. Um, and then teachers think you're a bit kind of special because you can't use scissors properly. So it's this problem I've had my whole life. I'm sure there are worse things that I could have problems with. Five. I've got five. Okay, so time to start cutting them. So, let's go. Now I have my five, yeah, I've got five, my five strips that are going to make my bookmarks. So now what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do three with the wax and then two with just the pen, just in case it doesn't work. Hmm, I don't know what to try first. So what I did was I went on Pinterest and I looked for some reader quotes and I found some good ones, which um, I liked fell asleep here because all readers know that where you like literally read to the point where you can't see and you're going a bit cross-eyed. And half the time I need to go back and read the last few pages because I've just blacked out um oh what other ones were there I'll come up with them but let's let's just see how this goes with that one so we'll go with fell asleep here right I don't think this is gonna work very well because obviously you can't see what you've done which I should have known that anyway because that was the whole point of it um secondly my my candle it broke which I suppose I should have been expecting that but my candle broke so that didn't help I mean there are so many problems with this I'm, I might do one with this 
and then just do some plain ones. And oh, I can see it a bit better there. That might be a little bit better. So I'm going to do a few more and come back to you. We've done the wax bit. So I don't know how well these are going to work out. But we'll give it a go. They're really old and they've been left. They've gone all crispy. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like totally crispy. It might be okay inside it though. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got some. So I could do like a sunset sky with that one if I can find like a yellowy one as well. That could work. A little bit of water. Let's see how this, I'll do the darker colour first. Once. Oh, it's worked, it's worked. Look, it's worked really, really well. Um, oh. That's a shame, because the first bit worked well. So, we'll go for another one. Oh, this is so annoying. Why do things go wrong? I was so looking forward to having like some kind of Pinterest ready bookmarks and they look shit. That's made me really sad. Remember that when things go wrong, you can just pick yourself back up and then one day it might go right again. I'm sure there are plenty of things in my life that I've done where I've been like, that went horribly wrong. So you must not get discouraged the first time. I think that is the lesson from this video, even though it's made me really angry because I saw all these nice pictures on Pinterest and they were so pretty. Like what I'll do is I'll do these two and then I'll wait for them to dry and then I'll do the pen bits. Ah, it's so... That probably doesn't help that my paint is a load of shit. So all I've got to do now is wait for that to dry. That looks pretty good. And then I wait for that to dry and I'll do some nice um, calligraphy type stuff on it. Because I have been practicing my calligraphy and it looks quite good. See now this is what I mean. Like I do um, crochet as well. And there was one time that I was making... What was I trying to make? I think I was trying to make some kind of like iPad cover. It just did not work. It absolutely did not work. So what I did was I took what I'd crocheted and I wrapped it around my head and I was like, this would make a great bobble hat. So I made a bobble hat out of it. Once you stuck a bobble on it, everybody loved it. So never, ever, ever give up on your creative endeavours or any other kind of endeavour in life because you just don't know. You might be able to make a bobble hat out of it. Oh, we'll go well with a blue. Green. Ooh. I do love this modern calligraphy though. It's become very popular. And I would love to be able to do like somebody's wedding invites or something. Not that I would trust myself to do it because I get performance anxiety then. So there's that one. That's good. Maybe I should do a few more strips because I have a feeling that these are going to go wrong and then I'm going to be left with nothing and then I'll have made an attempt on a video and the whole th oh shit I've got paint on my mum's table it's always best to have backup I think that's another thing that in life art teaches you so much about life backup plans are like the key to life because most things in my life go a little bit tits up. I'm going to do more strips. My bookmarks are all dry and I've already done the first one which I did like a little 
like tree design on the bottom and I quite like it. It's turned out quite nice, like a sunset. So I was just going to do two, uh, oh I've got actually three, three to do with lettering. So I've got my calligraphy pen and I've also got a black Crayola pen. Um, and the first one I'm going to do is hashtag bibliophile. So I'm going to do that with the Crayola one to start with and I'm going to do it on one of the blue ones. <laughs> We've done alright with that one. We've done alright. You can tell I'm concentrating again. I go very, very quiet when I'm concentrating. Oh, I really like this. Bibliophile. So I'm just going to do the others and then I will show you the finished product. And this is proof of the pudding, that if you are struggling with something and it looks crap, just keep going because you might actually come out with something half decent and I quite like what I've come up with. I mean, I actually think I sh could give some of these Pinterest people a run for my money. If I saw this on a thumbnail, I'd be like, I want to make them. Maybe I am a bit artier than I thought I was. Hmm. Well, okay, I'll show you them individually. So, I've got the one I showed you there, which is the little trees and the... So that's just like a, a whimsical kind of bookmark with no words on it. And then I've got the hashtag a bibliophile one, which I really, really like. I think that's probably my favourite one. And then I've got fell asleep here because all readers know that awful feeling where you fall asleep with the book on your face and you can't remember the last two or three pages you've read so I thought that one was very apt and then to be continued but yeah so that was my little crap tutorial of how to make a bookmark I feel like this was quite a low-key video it was quite chilled I feel I needed that because sometimes everything feels a bit frenetic and that was just a bit like I'm just going to chill out and make some bookmarks. So I can go and swap out all the bookmarks that I've got that are train tickets and take all the bacon out of my books. I love the fact that somebody used bacon. Maybe I should just go on more and just use like a steak. No, I will not have weird things in my book anymore because I've got cute bookmarks. So stay tuned, like, subscribe and have a go.